Hey guys, what's up? Marco Loterza here with an update of my vegan project. We are here in the gym. So, what happened the last months? It's week 23 and I'm still vegan. So 23 weeks vegan and I still feel great. And yeah, there were a lot of things happening in my life. I was moving, I was traveling and I will give you an update now. Like I said, I was traveling, I was going to Vegas to attend the Mr. Olympia, which was a great experience. It was so crowded, so many people, and for me it was the first time there. And I must say it was amazing. And I had a shoot there with uh, Pat Lee. And the goal of that shoot was to improve my shape. That means to beat my best non-vegan shape. And I was really able to be my best non-vegan shape following a pure vegan diet. And this is something historical. Let's say if you had asked me like 23 weeks ago when I started my project if this is possible, I could not you know, tell you the answer. But it was possible and it was kind of a journey for me, a bit of an up and down. And when I started this vegan project I felt that the diet was not really working well after like five six weeks and then I had to change my diet you know I had to adapt a lot of things and then it started to work again so you see it's always when you start new things and you learn by doing the things you always need to change and switch up things so it's like a process and yeah then after Vegas uh, I went to LA and in LA I wanted to see the vegan lifestyle because I heard a lot of things that vegan is very well developed there and I must say it's true there are a lot of vegan places there like the Cafe Gratitude, the Veggie Grill or the Thai Vegan and for me my favorite one was the Cafe Gratitude I've been many times there and they have great food and also what I could see is when it comes to food variety talking about vegan that in LA you get much more vegan stuff it's different than in Europe and I hope that you know in Europe it's gonna change soon that we have more vegan food variety the community is growing but it still has potential yeah so and also in LA I had more shoots for magazines and I hope you're gonna see the covers very soon and then you will see that I looked really shredded on a vegan diet so it is definitely possible to get in a great shape without getting animal protein and this is the key message what's going on in the future what are my projects now I'm having an off season that means um, <laughs> I enjoy food again and I try to gain weight so my goal is to gain like eight to ten pounds within the next three to four months I rather do a slow kind of bulking instead of a fast one where I gain a lot of body fat so the goal is to gain size but keep the body fat low or as low as possible and to work on my strength so this is uh, what's happening now and yeah I'm gonna launch an online platform very soon so stay tuned follow me on my youtube channel you're gonna be the first to know about it when I launch the platform it's gonna be something innovative something you have never seen before and I'm gonna share a lot of my knowledge which will help you you know getting the progress you have always been working for in the gym right so what else now I'm gonna hit my shoulders right uh, and I'm gonna post more workouts very soon on my YouTube channel I know I've been a bit um, you know passive in the last months in YouTube but that was because I was moving I was very busy with all the projects and I simply couldn't find the time to do any kind of YouTube videos but now you will see more workouts and also more videos about the vegan lifestyle just make sure to follow me so push the like button if you like this video and make sure to share this video in between your friends i'm out for today bye bye guys you were asking me about the protein powders so this is something that many vegan people are like having issues with they don't like the taste of the vegan proteins so 